Hey guys, so we're back here at Daniel's Land with the Dukes. We want to just kind of give it a torture test, make sure the shifter, the brakes, the chain, everything's working really well before we try and take this thing to, you know, more extreme places. So yeah, let's just get right into it. Yeah, I'm excited to try this thing out. Yeah. So I just drove this thing and it was pretty awesome. Um, it's actually feeling really solid now. So first off, the shifter, it's feeling really good. It got a little bit more, I guess, vague, but I think that's just it kind of wearing into where it's gonna be working. It doesn't seem like it's gonna be a problem we're gonna break. Uh, the brakes are okay. I mean, this thing's really heavy, so it's and it's also going really fast, so I'm not that surprised that they're not great. But they do stop you and they'll help you stop, so that's good. Um, I think the only real problem we have is the engine. Right now it's not like idling or starting very well, but it does make full power at the top end. So we're gonna try and experiment with um, maybe taking off the fuel, uh, the pulse pump in the back, maybe uh, resyncing the carb, stuff like that. But that'll be later. It, it, it drives pretty good. Um, I like the shifter. I mean, you just pull back and go into the next gear. And yeah, it's pretty fast. I mean, it rips.
felt my life flash before my eyes. That was <laughs> kind of terrifying. All right, guys, so we, we looked at the footage of the last jump, and I think I lifted at the top. So, yeah, disregard the part where I said I was scared for my life. Uh, I'm gonna try it again and try and stay in it the whole time, and we'll see if it's better. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, that was much better. I think something broke. Nope. <laughs> that was actually a much better jump. We did land on the tires this time. Um, I don't think this thing's meant for jumping though. We thought it was gonna be kind of back heavy, but I don't know. But we did end up actually bending this tire out. We think it's this arm that was damaged when we first got it. It was already bent way in. So we think it just kind of re-bent back. But Daniel has a big shop over there with a lift. So we'll see if we can try and fix it. All right, so this isn't going to be the prettiest, but that'll be very strong. With the help of Daniel and his shop, we have this thing basically back to where we started. The J-arm just got bent on that jump, so we straightened it out and we reinforced it with some angle iron, and it's actually pretty great right now. Another thing we did is we took the pulse pump off the back fuel system, and now it idles a lot better, so we're hoping that we won't be cutting out at high RPM or anything. If that's the case, then we know that we need to get like a bigger fuel line and a less restrictive petcock. So right now we're just gonna test it and see how it does. This thing starts up way better now. No throttle. And with that, the deuce is pretty much in its final form as you see it now. There's a couple of minor things we have to do. Um, we gotta kind of straighten out that J arm a little bit more, and we have to mess with the fuel system to get it to not break up at higher RPMs. But it's definitely proven itself here, and we can definitely take it to some harder trails, maybe off roading at a off road park. Uh, once again, thanks to Daniel for helping us and letting us use his land. I uh, definitely got more than he bargained for when he let us come out here. Make sure you check out his channel at DJI Tuning. We'll have a link in the description. Thank you to Go Power Sports for all the parts on this thing. Uh, thank you to Oxbeam for the lights. And as usual, parts down in the description. Thanks for watching and subscribe if you haven't already.